right. Thanks for tuning in to the first edition of Coffee with a Coach. We're joined today by Union Head Coach Josh Hauji. Coach, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Anytime I can have a coffee and talk some hockey, I'm good to go. That's the best part of the job, right? Yeah. So as we get into you know week three or four of the season, depending on the team, you've had a good start to your year. Your first year at Union, we'll talk about your history and your path to get there shortly. But just your experience so far with the team, getting to know the campus and, and just jumping into it full force. How has that been for you? It, it's been great for me and my family. Um, you know, anytime you're going to take your family and kind of merge it with another family, and that's our Union Hockey family, it's uh, it's an exciting time. Um, family is something that we talk about and preach and want to make sure that, you know, we're making sure that everybody feels welcomed and valued. And um, everybody's done that to me and my family here. So pretty fortunate to, to be at a spot like union. And you're, you know, as a first year coach, normally you talk to a first year coach and there's a lot of new things. There's a lot of moving parts, but one thing for you in terms of familiarity is the ECAC, you know, you were at Clarkson for seven years before union now transitioning over into the head coaching role. You are no stranger to success in this league after being there with Clarkson. How much of a comfortability factor is that for you to be able to at least know the teams, the opponents, the ranks, and and kind of slide into that a little bit smoother? Yeah, I think when you look at the ECAC, you're recruiting student athletes that that one want to be pro hockey players, guys that you know want to challenge themselves and get to that level, but also want to get a really good education along the way. And um, you know, we know we know what the value of an edu- or a degree from these schools can do for you after hockey. So I think just knowing that it makes it so much easier to sell recruiting wise. And then when you go to a place, it's nice to know exactly, Hey, this is, this is where the locker room is. This is how this team's going to play. Uh, so yeah, you, you have a level of familiarity. And before we get to that first win, you know, dial it back even a few weeks or I, mean, I don't a few months, what was it like that first meeting with the team? I know that's something that a lot of fans always want to know about and you don't have to give away any of your secrets, but, you know, walking in as a coach myself at a much lower level, you know, walking into that room for the first time, meeting the players and knowing, all right, this is our group. How did that go for you? What was that like? I mean, it's you You want to make sure you have a perfect message and that everything goes well. And I mean, that's not life. I mean, everything's not going to go completely perfect. But I just wanted to thank them for giving me an opportunity and allowing me to come into their locker room. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I'm never going to score another goal. I'm never going to block another shot. Um, I get to sit back and kind of direct a little bit, but they're the ones that are going to win games and they're the ones that have to buy into what we're, you know, we're tr- the way we're trying to play. So I just, I just wanted to thank them right away for, for giving me that opportunity. And then, you know, let them know that they're going to be the ones that set the culture. They're going to set the standard. And, um, Saturday night, we talked about it before the game of setting a standard and they were going to be the first ever team to to play in a new era. And as you ushered in that new era, you did something that I'm sure many new coaches would like to have and get that first win monkey off your back in day one. (laughs) What was the feeling like when you, I mean, you did it in dramatic fashion. It wasn't like a four nothing win, right? You're down three to one, come back and score in the last two minutes, the emotions and everything going through your mind. I, I mean, when you scored, when the game ended, once you could take it in after, take us through that whole experience. It, it was a perfect day. I mean, really like you'd like, yeah, I guess when you're thinking about it, you'd love to just win by 10 goals or something, but the way it all worked out, it, it couldn't have went any better. It was homecoming weekend here. Um, you know, the school football one, soccer one, field hockey one, and then we were able to cap it off with the dramatic comeback. So it was a lot of fun just to be a part of that. But then I had no idea like the energy that would be in this building and it, it was electric. It, there was so much juice. It was it was great. It was so much fun to be a part of, and um, just to see the guys work that hard and come back and and find a way to win. Uh, that that that's you, you couldn't have scripted any better. So it was it was great. Um, it was it was special, and you know I've had a you know, coach a lot of hockey games, but that for sure will be in my top five of of greatest games I've been a part of. And obviously followed it up with a tie the next night against Army, but producing a result and getting that done, you know, both teams scoring with their period. So two really competitive games for you in the non-conference. You head to UConn this weekend, you know, playing in a tough barn to play in at the Excel Center. What is that kind of message for your team? Okay, we got that first one. We're on the board, and now let's start to prepare. Yeah, 
we talked about setting a standard of just competing and, and working hard. And I thought we did a great job of that this first weekend. And, um, you know, each day we're going to try to get a little bit better and, and just continually take steps as a group. And this, this will be our first, you know, road weekend, so to speak. I mean, we'll be there, you get there tonight and then play Friday, Saturday. So we, we're going to have to bounce back and, um, really have that kind of energy and effort that we did this weekend if we want to keep going and uh, this will be a, a good test for us and we're excited to, to take them on and dialing back one more to the first win i'm sure you get a lot of phone calls text messages emails is there anything that stands out as you know one of those best messages that you got something that made you laugh something that made you smile <laughs> It is it is a family like when you come to a spot like Union and just the amount of alumni uh, that have reached out and you know just just said hey we're we're so excited for you and and happy to see you know you get that um, but for me there's nothing better than just after a win when when my two little guys come and give me a hug and they're like to me that's you know my my six and eight year old Hanley and Landry they're they're with me every step of the way and they miss some nights when dad has to go on the road but. The home games they're usually at so when they come and give you a hug and they're they're proud that's that's the best that's awesome family being a huge piece is obviously important to a lot of the people in this league and i think it goes through and through when the new coach comes in and, and already has that down so i appreciate that i'll go one more fun one for you as we we're taking the coffee theme with this and, and everyone will have their morning coffee without giving me a brand name what's your go-to coffee order in the morning I just, I like mine with just a little bit of milk and that's, I take it every day. So, well, we're going to start keeping a list of all the coaches orders. So whenever anyone wants to, wants to butter somebody up, we know how to go into their office. So coach, thank you for joining us. Good luck at UConn this weekend. And we look forward to talking to you later in the year. Great. Thanks for having me.